Breaking news now, the Justice Department and FBI are investigating the case of a black man found hanging from a tree in Mississippi. A law enforcement official tells CNN that man is believed to be 54-year-old Otis Byrd. You see his picture there. Police found him earlier today, about a half a mile from his home. Bird had been missing since March 2nd. A friend on that date dropped him off at a nearby casino. The sheriff of Claiborne County has just spoken about this moments ago, and here's what he said. We got down there and we seen a, a man that had uh, probably some bed sheets tied uh, around his neck. Was there a bag found over the head? Uh, it was a, a cap that was, that was put on, on his head. Justice correspondent Evan Perez is out front. Evan obviously just heard the sheriff there of Claiborne County talking about how he was found with bed sheets in his head uh, about a, a quarter, half a mile from his home. What are your sources telling you at this time? Well, Aaron, the uh, authorities down there are not yet identifying the name of, uh, of the victim there who was found in those deep woods behind his last residence. But we're told it's Otis Bird, 54 years old, who was found, who was uh, reported missing by his family uh, mm. earlier this month. And so that is something now that tests are being done to confirm that it is indeed him. Uh, the body, uh, we're told, was uh, somewhat decomposed. So it's not something that they could have been done easily on site. Um, this is obviously raising a lot of questions down there. This is southern Mississippi near the Louisiana border, an area with a, a history of violence going back uh, uh, some decades. So it is something that is raising uh, questions on the FBI, civil rights division, uh, so, sorry, civil rights investigators are on the scene, as well as uh, the civil rights division from the Justice Department uh, and the uh, U.S. attorneys down there in uh, southern Mississippi are all investigating this for, uh, to, to make sure that, uh, to, to, to determine what exactly happened. Now, they haven't ruled out whether it is a suicide or right. whether it is a murder. So that is, again, part of the investigation. Right, and they're trying to determine whether it was suicide or murder. And of course, when you hear about a murder in this way of a black man, you're talking about Mississippi, people uh, think about right. whether this could be something horrific like a lynching. Exactly. What more do you know at this time about Otis Byrd, who he was? Well, we know that he had a criminal record. He uh, was sentenced uh, in 1980 uh, for the murder of a woman in that area, and he served uh, until 2006. He was released. He was still on probation. That is, again, part of the investigation here because, you know, it could be somebody who had a beef with him to settle uh, because of perhaps that criminal past, and that is, again, part of the investigation here.